Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome. I'm so glad to see you all. Come up and sit on Grammy's quilt with me. We're going to talk about a creation that God made that I want you to guess, see if you can guess what the name of this bird is. But this bird is an extremely intelligent bird. It bends twigs to make and use tools. Can you believe that? And it has a familiar call. Caw! Caw! Can you guess what that bird is called? That's right. That's right. A crow. Crows have excellent memories. They can remember faces. And they are a large black bird, black in color, and they have a fairly significant beak. They're about 17 to 19 inches long. So they're a good sized bird. Um, crows have a, a relative of theirs that you have also thought, probably heard of, and it's called a raven. And ravens can be told the difference between them is not big, but you can recognize it if you know. And that is a raven is a larger bird than a crow. And it has a harsher voice and it has a heavier, bigger bill. And its tail and wings come together to form a point at the end. Whereas with a crow, the tail is fanned out when it flies, and you can see that very distinctly. Crows are monogamous. That means they have one mate their whole life. And they both, both the male and the female, care for the young in the nest. Now, crows are smart. They can solve problems that are up to like a five to a seven-year-old human. Wow, that's probably as old as some of you are. Crows hold grudges. They remember a face when it's been mean to them. Um, they did a test and they put a mask on a man and he acted aggressively toward a group of crows. And then every time they would walk with that man with that particular mask on, the crows would be so upset and dive around toward that man. And they, the crows taught up to four to five generations out that that mask, that particular face, was dangerous. That's pretty interesting. Now, crows are um, omnivorous. That means they eat just about anything. They are not particular about what their diet is. And their nests are about one and a half to two feet in diameter. That's a big nest. And they make their nests out of twigs and hair and cloth and moss and plants. So they make their nests out of a box, just about everything. Now crows live up to 14 years in the wild, but in captivity, they can live as long as 20 years. So that's an interesting point. Now I have a video today and I'm going to let you listen and see if you can make out the human speech that this crow is saying. He's saying a word. So let's listen and see if you can hear it. Did you hear it? Did you hear what it was? He said, hello. Let's listen to it one more time. Okay, you could hear it. He said hello. That's because he was trained to do that. Crows have clutches. That's what their nest, their eggs are called, clutches. And they have three to nine eggs in a clutch. And crows do some of the most interesting things. I think they're my favorite bird. Um, crows do something very interesting with nuts. 
they fly to a signal, a regular stop signal with a light, and they will drop nuts on the pavement and wait for the cars to roll over them. Then they wait for the light to turn red and they will swoop down and get those nuts. They didn't have to do any work, just dropping them there. Is that not smart, but so intelligent? God made crows to be intelligent. And, you know, we can learn so much from that. We can use our intelligence for good or for bad. All the days of our life, we make those choices. And we, I think God wants us to use our intelligence for good and to be loving and kind and thoughtful and gentle. Let's do that today. And let's don't forget about the crows and what fabulous birds they are. That God made. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, I thank you for the crows and I thank you for the children listening to my voice. Bless them, Lord, each one, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being here today. So good to see you. See you next week.